I'm just taking a very small example for a four year period, a five year period. Sir, yeah. Let's say that profits as per books, some 100, 120, 140, 180, 220. Some number. Don't add anything like add uh, book depreciation. Long, 30, 30, 30, 30, and 30. Plus tax depreciation. Minus 50, minus 40, minus 30, minus uh, 20, minus 10. Okay. So, yeah. So total either a background of which bomba. So yeah, five years. So the entity is acquiring a fixed asset whose cost is around 150. For taxation purposes, the depreciation is 50, 40, 30, 20, and 10. For books, the entity follows a straight line method of depreciation at 30 each. So far, so good. Is it clear than everybody guys? Now look at the timing differences. What are the timing differences here? First year ke minus 20, minus 10, 0, 10, 20. Is it clear? Everybody. Now let us take up the first case. Case A. If the entity enjoys a tax holiday for the entire 5 year period. If the entity enjoys a tax holiday for the entire 5 year period, do you think this entity will be required to create DTA or DTL? Yes, no. Is there an originating timing difference in the first year? Yes. Is it getting adjusted sometime later? Yes. But if you can notice that even though there is a timing difference that originates, it does not pay taxes in year number 1. It does not pay taxes in year number 5. It does not pay taxes for any of the intervening years. And therefore, there is no way that there can be anything called as tax for this particular entity. Correct? Everybody guys, follow up on And therefore, we will say that was the entity does not pay any taxes during the period given above. The differences that originate in year 1 or 2 is getting reversed by year number 5. Apo, the timing differences, if any, have no impact on future taxes. Therefore, no DTA or DTA. Is it correct? Is there a timing difference? Yes. Will it have an impact on future income? No. Therefore, there is no DTA, DTA. Now, here a bit of taxation understanding is a bit helpful. Exempt Dane sir. Why should I even bother about charging depreciation on this same? In fact, it is fully exempted. Why should they even compute anything called as depreciation in the first place? Utlam Abhisamant. Now, you are... Tax laws will very clearly say that you are eligible to claim only that amount as exemption that you compute after you determine depreciation and all in accordance with income tax law. Which implies even for you to claim a benefit of let's say something like 10 BA or 80 AB benefits and all, you are supposed to compute depreciation in accordance with income tax law claim. You all compute so, which implies that except at the last stage, where the total income can become half or total income can become zero, at every stage you are required to quantify tax depreciation, book depreciation and all. So, why exactly is this so called idea very significant to sir? Very significant because we will keep on charging book depreciation in first two or three years. Once your uh, you know, tax liability starts, from that year onwards, you used to start claiming tax depreciation. Adhu varikun tax depreciation hai Sounds a very great move because by the time you actually use those assets during tax payment period, the asset would have been exhausted. And instead of you depreciating in the past, you start depreciating right now. You are effectively charging past periods expense against current period. People used to do all these kind of cracky things and sometime... During early 2000s, the government woke up to realize all these kind of fishy things and they could identify. Now, the basic mindset of our 
entire CI community will definitely find yes or what I can do. Demonetization, na, they found out like 200 different goals and they are making use of all possible things right now. You see, arrested Nanganeti, not here, somewhere in Pune or Hamadar. Anyway, the uh, uh, point I was just trying to make here is that you get tax depreciation charge for number skip for number here. Accounting does not matter. Uh, accounting does not bother about your tax obligations. You are required any case charge depreciation. So your accounting standard number 10 revised as on date to incorporate depreciation also mandates charging of depreciation in your books. Whether you pay tax or don't pay tax, nobody cares. Charge depreciation. Tax laws are also insisting that you start paying uh, charging depreciation. It will be considered as allowed, finished. So given this understanding, we need to be very clear that this tax depreciation is deemed to have been charged. Sariya, case B. If the entity enjoys tax holiday for, let's say, three years. That is year number one, two. Now what will happen? So we can notice that was in that case near number one a difference of rupees 20 arises near number two a difference of rupees 10 arises Charya, in year number three difference is zero Charya, so cumulatively at the end of third year the difference is rupees 30 which will result in what year? DTL. Now are we supposed to create DTL there? Because these differences will have an impact in the future. Irigmarkada, everybody, now we will say why DTLs are very simple. In future, that is, year number 4 and 5, when the entity starts paying taxes, these differences will get reversed. Clear? Apo, therefore, we are required to create DTL. Apo, even during tax holiday period. Well, let us try and understand the base idea, sir. When should I create a DTA or DTL during tax holidays? I am even required to create. So, if you stand it effectively and summarize Pandradana, they say that was. Timing differences originating during the tax holiday period. In the example, and year number one to three. Two possibilities are there. Can get reversed during tax holiday period. Can get reversed after tax holiday. Possible. Can get reversed during tax holiday, can get reversed after tax holiday. If, oh, if you are going to assume that four year tax holiday period, four year tax holiday period. Now, when are they? You will notice that at the end of your fourth year, I am just marking this cumulative timing difference. At the end of your fourth year, you will notice that a difference is getting reduced. Till end of third year it was 30, resulting in DTL. End of fourth it is becoming 20. When the reverse are the liya, when the soldier and I apart, timing differences are originating. Either they 20, 30, 30, la, sorry, 20, 10, 0, la, originating timing difference. Whatever is getting originated can get reversed during tax holiday period. If it is getting reversed during tax holiday period, is there any requirement for you to create DTA, DTL? No. Why not? Start pandam bodo tax katala, mudim bodo tax katala. There is absolutely no need for me to create any DTA or DTL for such differences. Now, if during tax holiday period differences are originating, after tax holiday period differences are getting reversed, now we have a case for creating DTA or DT. Reverse will never happen, please. First tax katala, upper and tax holiday varo, nada kaise. Nobody is going to grant you any such facilities at all. Never ever in any corner of the world will have one such provisions. Except probably in the corner of our mind. Where ingi me varade, remember. Don't assume that first tax cut, then after all the tax cut, tomorrow another one. That is old. 
So, yeah, that is not a tax holiday that the government gives, something that you take all by yourself. So, when it comes down to your tax holidays, first a tax holiday, then tax payment period. When I say that, we are going to say that whatever is getting reversed during tax holiday period, no DTA, DTA. Whatever can get reversed after tax holiday period, create DTA or DTA. When to create? Hey, sir, create one, no. The time of origination of timing difference. That is, year in which the timing differences starts or originates. Follow up on the year. In the version of start, though, on the version. For example, here, first year, do we have a timing difference of 20? Yes. yes. That is when it starts. Are we required to create DTA or DTL for the same? The answer is yes. I am going by three year tax holiday period for this discussion. So first year there is a timing difference of 20. Am I required to create DTL for 20? Yes. yes. 20 into future tax is not important to compute DTA. Second year. Second year there is a timing difference of 10. Is it originating or reversing? Once again originating. It's like additional differences. So whatever gets added to the existing difference. It is obviously only originating difference. Should I create DTA by DTL? The answer is yes, sir. Go about you know, creating DTL for the same. Fantastic. Year 3, one nula prachana career. Munju pocha? Over. If you are going to go by a four year cycle, this is where the next challenge comes. Four year cycle end now, huh? First year 20 is getting created. Should I create DTA by DTL? I should ask myself, boss, is any amount getting reversed? Anything is getting reversed? In fourth year, 10 rupees is getting reversed. They say out of this 20, 10 is getting reversed. Create detail only for balance of 10. So why can't I adjust this 10 against next year's 10? Not possible. FIFO method. So when it comes down to these adjustments, the idea is that you always follow FIFO kind of model, which implies the timing differences which are reversing are adjustable only against timing differences is originated first. Map and Amudiyada Raja. Everybody guys. So the last of the summary here is what? This. Then any timing differences are reversing during the tax holiday period. During the tax holiday period, what's the assumption? What's the assumption, sir? We assume Assume is mandated to follow only P4 method. That is, the first originated timing differences will reverse first. That's all. Which implies if the above example, we have a four year tax holiday period. In year number one, we have originating timing difference of rupees 20 out of which Rupees 10 is expected to reverse a power. Year number 4. Sir, yeah. Therefore, in year number 1, we create detail only for rupees 10. You are able to follow the broad idea, guys. In the broad template, clear na Panjayat over. Effectively done. This is what you and I are expected to do in terms of a tax holiday. Sorry, guys. Yeah. So expected by how do you expect it? Which one? Uh, in the year one, how do uh. you you know expect the year four that will be this sort and I'll reverse now? See, most notable timing difference happens to be only an account of your depreciation. There is nothing to expect at all. You'll always, always, always know for sure. Uh, the other ones of timing differences, such as your uh, no, tedious disallowances or 43B disallowance for non-payment of statute reduced or interest and borrowed care. But it is always within your control. Mm -hmm. And therefore, you can claim. You can pretty much say that I will be able to do this the entire thing. Tedious disallowance, for instance, the now recently also they issued a, a circular for notification stating how we are supposed to proceed further for this on 26A cases. So, in all probability, except for very minuscule instances, for most of the cases, you will be in a position to identify when it will happen. Even though I am saying that it is expected, expected is like you know more a generic term. You will know for sure that these will arise. Yeah, please. Yes. Shriya Raja, first make a note of the summary alone. This is your summary. 
and then i will just uh, scroll up forget the example time period and all then i will scroll up example konjam broader note panichukonga reference course that's all